Hey everybody, I feel so strange getting on here and talking to the camera and I've got my full face done but I've got no lip product on because I thought I would just kind of try things on as I go in this video and we're going to be talking about lip balm. I mean, is there a more like core, basic, essential thing? that everybody can use. Kids all the way up to any age. Lip balm was totally like the gateway makeup product for me. I mean, when I was a little kid, I would eat lip balm. <laughs> I've got lip balm running through my veins, so I love to talk about lip balm, and I was so glad that this video was a viewer request. Alicia said, I think it was in a YouTube comment, she said, um, tell us about the best lip balms for certain reasons, like before lipstick, or bedtime, or going outside. You know, all different lip balm needs, and I thought that was brilliant and I love outlining and categorizing, so that's what we're here to do. First thing I'm gonna recommend here, it's lip exfoliating. This step is like basically getting your lips to that clean slate place where they can best receive the lip treatments you're putting on. So if you've got dry, flaky, cracked lips, and some people will say, well, I use the lip exfoliator, but my lips are so dry, like they need more or something. If your lips are legit like dr a dry, flaky, hot mess, what you should probably do first is is put like a little bit of a balm on your lips and just to soften all that dry cracky stuff and then exfoliate because then I think you'll see a little bit more of a result from it. Right now my lips are in pretty darn decent condition because of another product that I've been talking about but I am going to go ahead and exfoliate with this e.l.f. lip exfoliator and I have it here in a rose and it smells fabulous and you just kind of rub it across your lips like this and the grit is in the stick. So you're not gooping in with your finger to some pot of lip scrub and trying to make it go. Like this is just the actual scrubbing happening here. But it just feels super gritty and you just run it across your lips a little bit like this. You don't have to spend too long with it. But it's a nice thing to do maybe in the mornings or even nighttime before bed routine would be a good time to do this. But this is basically the scrubbies like suspended in a balm. There's a nice concentration of them. And then when I get done, I just kind of dab off like this because there's usually a little bit of scrubby residue. But now the lips feel super duper smooth. The first balm I want to recommend or the first type of lip balm because there's multiple like scents you could get. But this is a balm for absolutely any person, any occasion, man, woman, child, like you got dry lips and you just need a good solid lip balm to reach for. I would go for Nivea. Um, this one happens to be the Kiss of Milk and Honey version. Um, they also have a minty one. I don't know if they still do the olive oil and lemon, but that one's great too. And then they make a variety of different tints that I want to be like trying out as well. Mm, this feels so good. They've got a great formula going here because there is that uh, bit of thickness to it. What I like to see in a really good lip balm is that hint of thickness, that kind of cling to the lips. I don't want thin, greasy, slipping off of my lips. I want to feel like, yes, it's just hanging on there. And not only does that mean that it's going to be more deeply hydrating your lips, but generally the thicker the balm, the better it's going to just stay on there. So common sense tells me that if the balm's going to be staying on my lips longer, my lips are going to be taking advantage of the hydration longer, and I'm not going to have to be worried about the reapplication thing. So a Nivea lip balm under any circumstance circumstance I think is a good thing. Now I'm gonna get that off here so we can get a clean slate. Lip balm try-on videos are a real pleasure compared to the liquid lipstick try-ons, I gotta tell ya. Something to wear under like a lipstick or whatever lip color you're wearing is kind of a lip primer. I have been using this so much lately in this respect and it's my EOS Sweet Mint. And I'm saying specifically the Sweet Mint because not every formula in the EOS line is exactly the same. Some have a little drier texture. I even noticed within the kit that I I got for the holidays. It was like a trio and they aren't all exactly made the same. But the Sweet Mint is a perfect texture and I've talked about using EOS this way before and this is kind of a rediscovered thing. But this is even a little bit thicker. I hate to describe a lip balm as drier because it's truly plenty of moisture but it's just got a little less slip to it than the Nivea and so therefore I think it's great under lipstick. The scent of this like wakes me up. It's truly like Orbit's Sweet Mint gum in a lip balm. Think of using it this way. Like you put your moisture are on, maybe you do a little lip exfoliating every few days or something, and then apply this and let this start to soften your lips as you're doing your whole makeup application. Particularly in these drier months, it can be nice to have this layer underneath whatever lip product you're wearing. Also, let's say you've just got a great lip liner that you love. Even really nice lip liners can be a little bit dry sometimes going across the lips, and all it takes is a bit of balm to help that particular shade glide on more smoothly. So this is just a nice prep step, I think, for the lips. Next up is the product 
product that made me think I have to do this video soon because this is something I have been using at night before bed and I'm, I'm a believer, okay? This is not a cheap drugstore find, but it is the hype is real over this. This is the Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask. And what this says is, wake up to baby soft lips. This relaxing berry-infused overnight mask is enriched with berry mix complex and vitamin C and leaves lips soft and smooth. Guys, I will put this stuff on in the evening, okay? Like after dinner or something. Like if I don't already have some long wearing thing on my lips and I'll put this on and my lips still in the morning when I get up they feel awesome. Like it, it's downright transformative for the lips. Not even kidding. So you put it on, this is the appearance that it has on the lips. There's a little bit of shine. As you put this on your lips and it kind of meshes with the heat of your body, you feel it almost melt down a little bit on the lips. But I put, you know, a decently thick amount on. And you know, there are those products that like you put on your lips right away and you're like, ooh, I just love having this on my lips because it feels so smooth or it looks a little shiny, you know, whatever. It's a nice experience as it's on the lips. But this is one of those true products that even long after this has actually worn off, your lips feel so good. Like it's a great intensive treatment. And this is a big tub of product here. I feel like I'm gonna have this a long, long time because I'm literally only putting it on before bed and my lips have felt so great in the morning. All of your lip stuff is gonna look better because you've been using this kind of product underneath. I would say give it as a stocking stuffer, but it almost requires, I think, more razzmatazz than that. Like put it in a big fabulous box and be like, it's a lip mask. Enjoy. Boy, it smells fantastic too. To me, it smells like strawberries and cream. I love it. I don't even want to be taking this off, but the show must go on. Okay, so we've talked about the exfoliator. We talked about just general all-purpose lip balm with the Nivea. EOS for your lip prep. This is your before bed. What I'm left with here are some good tinted lip balm options. And Neutrogena dominates here. This is where they just no doubt, they do awesome lip balmy type things. A couple things worth mentioning here, even though I know you've heard me talk about them before, the revitalizing lip balms. First of all, just the best shape. Can we start just by default making lip balms in this oval shape? Because they go on so perfectly this way. These have an SPF 20 in them. There's a small range of shades. I've talked about the soft caramel, which looks like just a, like a light nude kind of on the lips. Lately, I've been keeping the sunny berry shade in my purse. Um, that's just good for any time, any look. This one is called Petal Glow. This was one of my more recent purchases here. So I'll just put that on. But I love how these apply, they're so easy. Color-wise, these are on, you know, the very subtle end. I wouldn't even think I needed a mirror to put any of these on. And like I said, the control of application is totally there with this oval shape. But this is Petal Glow, and it's got just the teeniest bit of pink in here. And what I hope to get across in this video is like, you know, there are all of those colorless lip balms that I mentioned that are great, but when you go out in the day and you're like, okay, I gotta have some color on my lips, you don't have to sacrifice that concept because there are colored lip products that can bring that life and that color and that energy to your face, but are still completely 100% feeling like a balmy lip treatment. So the revitalizing lip balm is one thing, and y'all know what I'm going to mention here, the Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. These are North Dakota tested, I mean, in the winter time. They're wonderful. The one complaint I might hear on these is from people who say the scent is kind of strong. And they're right, it is strong. I kind of like it because it makes me nostalgic for those days when I would open up a packet of Kool-Aid and just take a whiff right out of the packet. That's kind of what this is. But over the last few years, they've really expanded their shade range. They've got bright shades, dark shades, a really great nude. I'm gonna try on a couple of colors here that I've been wearing more recently. But what everything has in common that I mentioned in this video is the thickness. You know, I don't want a slip and slide thing going on my lips. I just want it to cling. I want the hydration to last. I don't want that feeling of, I gotta go back and reapply, reapply, reapply. Just stay on my lips and do your job. So one classic shade that has been in this line from the beginning of Moisture Smooth Color Sticks is this Sweet Watermelon. It's got a little bit of shimmer. Whenever I wear this, I feel like it's instant youth, you know, like on the lips. It's just this light, kind of easy, wearable shade. And the moment you press your lips together for the first time after putting this on. Just feel it. Just slow down. Let yourself feel that. 
Mm. You put this on before bed and then you keep your lips covered in this stuff by day and you will just have the best lips in town. Best lips in town. Where am I coming up with this stuff? Pink Nude is another great shade. Look at this. This is just creamy. This doesn't have any of the shimmer. Like, is this not just a gorgeous nude in its own right? Just talking color here. Long standing favorite, everyone. Tried and tested. I have heard so much feedback on these. These Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks over the entire life of my channel, these might be the things that I've heard the most positive feedback on from people who are like, yes, I went and tried it. I loved it. These are great. And it's not just pinks in the lineup. Like I said, there are corals, there are deeper berry colors. You can wear that and have that level of hydrating lip treatment all day long, but actually be wearing a full on opaque color. So that's really cool. The last thing I want to mention here is another tinted lip balm option because it's just undeniably great. I started to kind of dig into my stash of these in recent days and I was reminded of just how nice these are. Very luxurious. It's from Fresh and it's their sugar line of lip balms. So this is Sugar Rose. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. This is a mini and the minis, one thing you have to be aware of is they can be a little fragile. Sometimes that balm stick can move a little bit. Just apply light pressure. This rose shade though is kind of like my current favorite from the line because how natural is that? And what this really makes me think of is kind of a similar thickness to the Neutrogena, but somehow there's sort of a line filling thing happening here. Because I swear, whenever I put on any of the tinted shades from this line and I look up close at my lips, I see no texture. It's like just smoothness and yet not a ton of shine either because sometimes you only get that feel when you put on, let's say a really thick, like ultra shiny lip gloss, you know, and then you look up close at your lips. And I'm like, wow, what do you know? They look perfect. But to get that from a lip balm, I think is really cool. And I have so loved um, the berry shade as well. A little more colorful. I've got the tulip shade in my purse, which is a, one of their newer ones. And that's more of just a straight up pink. And then I've got just the regular here as well. And I sense just a hint of lemon in the scent with these. Super duper pleasant, ultra comfortable. If you were looking for a nice little gift, I mean, I know Sephora sells different sets and probably other retailers have different configurations of those, but they're very, very nice. So that's it, everybody. I hope this helped you out. If you're looking for some really nice things for your lips, I mean, I think we've got about every category covered here. I think it's a great time of year to be thinking about treating your lips as the weather gets colder. And I love the fact that not only did we have classic colorless balms in this video, but I also love the thought that you can wear something tinted with a little color and still be getting great treatment all throughout the day. It's sort of like thinking about your lips a little less from a makeup perspective and more from a skincare perspective. And I think your lips will thank you for it. And I think you might just win best lips in town. So thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.